So the book of scripture says, put difference a difference between holy, between holy and unholy. God's holy people are not doing what the unholy is doing. God demands change. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Listen at this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And verse 17. And the 17th verse. Begin at verse 16, son. And 2 Corinthians <clears throat> chapter 5 and at verse 16. Yes. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yes. Yea, though we have known Christ after we the flesh. We have known Christ when he was here walking the earth. He was flesh and blood. Yet now henceforth what? know we him no more. He ain't walking the earth flesh and blood no more. Give the, chapter and verse again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and that was at verse 16. 2 Corinthians 5, 16. Now we're at 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Verse 17. All right. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. I want you to hear this, Wisconsin. Hear this. Therefore, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Pentecostal, Apostolic, non denominational, Hebrew, Israelite, Muslim, Mormon, Jehovah Witness, uh, whatever you call yourself. Therefore, if any man, if any man be in Christ, what are you? He is a new creature. So you, what's the result? Old things are passed away. What? Old things are passed away. All right, let me get raw and brutal with you. Amen. Old things mean your past conduct. That's right. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Now hold it. Being a new creature is a slow process of transformation. Amen. Let me make this example. A caterpillar at its appointed time spins its silk and entomb itself in a cocoon. It stays in that cocoon as long as its creator, which is the Lord of creation, have appointed it to do. While it's in that cocoon, it's being transformed into something it never was. At the appointed time when it comes out the cocoon, it has a new body and a new name and it has new behavior. It went in a caterpillar, but it come out a butterfly now before then it would take its time walking slow upon the earth. But by the creating power of God, when it come out a butterfly, it's elevated into the heavens. But the transformation don't take place overnight. Amen. You're not going to stop your wrong overnight. But you have to make an effort and have to start sometime, somewhere. And the Bible says now is the acceptable time. Are you getting me? If any man be in Christ, if any man be in God, if any man serve our creator, he is a new creature. Now hold it. So, are the religions of the world teaching you how to be new? Or are the religions of the world is just teaching you to have a new appearance? You can put new paint on a damaged product. But when the paint wear off, the real condition of the product will come to surface. You don't want to waste your time going to church, be it Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. And I saw you doing this going to church. Teaching transforms everybody. Right. If you're taught wrong, you will come out wrong. You're taught right, you will come out right. The question is, what are you learning in church? Yeah, when I came up, they used to call the churches holy sanctified churches. And you didn't do in churches then what you do now. They sell tickets at the churches now. Choirs are full of homosexuals now. You know, in a lot of churches, the preacher's wife, they call the first lady. We don't have first ladies in the truth of God. Someone said, your wife ain't the first lady? Nope. Who was the first lady? Eve, and she's dead. <laughs> Eve, the wife of Adam, was the first lady. That's right. And she's dead. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. There was a church, I think in Philadelphia or in uh, New Jersey, 
where the preacher, he's all right, let him come on in. Let's let him come on in like he is. Come on in, have a seat, brother. And the church in Jersey, they didn't have the first lady. The preacher had the first man. The assistant pastor was homosexual, and his boyfriend was the first man. Now, if the Bible said we that are in Christ are new creatures, you should not be able to see the same junk and hear the same lies and be taught the same hypocrisy from God's house as you get from the devil's house. There have to be a standard of living. Amen. Churches today are so afraid to offend you so they don't preach against your wrong. You can remarry and divorce and get all the husband and wives you want and keep trading them in. Live together, not marry them. Get in and out of bed with your boyfriends and girlfriends and go to church with marks all over your neck put on there one mark by Bill, next mark by Peter, next mark by Paul. That's right. The other mark, you don't know who gave it. <laughs> Why? There is no order. God's church is a church of order. Right. And it is a church that teach discipline and enforce discipline. And this is why our young men is roaming around the streets like nomads and uncivilized bums and animals. Amen. No discipline. Your daddy don't have no discipline. Your church don't have no discipline. Your mama don't have no discipline. So you run the streets like loose dogs. That's right. You go to these churches that profess to be Christians and you rap, party, smoke. You, you invite celebrities in your church so they can have a Christian concert. That's right. The celebrity is bare-chested with chains all around his neck, telling everybody in the church, stand on your feet, stand on your feet, come on, come on, here we go, come on, come on, come on. We, we, we just gonna jam for Jesus, come on, come on. And you claim you saved, your church is nothing but a club. You are partying. Amen. Don't you hear the Bible speaks plain? Therefore, if, Therefore, any, man if any man be in, Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is what? A new creature. New. Let's understand this. Every beast of the field, every fowl of the air, every insect that God ever made, obeys God and conducts itself according to the characteristics that God gave it. The most rebellious, the most hard-haired, the most stubborn creation that's on this earth is man. New creature, New creature. we must pull off the old man. Jesus said, if I tell you earthly things and you don't believe it, how can I tell you heavenly? To better understand this, look at the snake. Every time of year, the same time of year, the snake shed his skin. And he never shed his skin by rubbing his body up on something soft. Because he know what softness just can't remove the stubborn old skin. So a snake has to rub up against something hard like tree bark or a stone until he peel off the old body. Amen. Bible, the word called the scriptures or a stone. Until Jesus said, if you fall on this stone, you shall be broken. Amen. But if it fall on you, it'll grind you to powder. <laughs> In order for you to be a strong man, a real man, I meet a lot of young men all around the world. And some come from gangs to where we are, bloods, crips. They come to the meeting sometimes. And and I remember I was in Delaware, and some bloods came in, some crips. Some had their blues, and some had their reds. And they came to me up the surface and talked to me, and slapped my hand. What's up, Pastor Jennings? <laughs> well, I become all thing to all men, you know. I didn't say, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> I didn't do that. They said, what's up, Pastor Jennings? I said, what's happening? They said, listen, man, no respect, but we ain't down with church. They said, but you, <coughs> they said, whenever we 
get ready to do what they call the church thing. We're we, we going to come to you. They say, because you're the only one, that, as they say, spit it out straight up. <laughs> See, if you're a hard, cold sinner, Amen. you can't be sitting following some sugar baby preacher. That's right. You a hardcore sinner? Sin pulls on you. Sin tugs on you to pull you back in a lifestyle that you're trying to come out of. T.D. Jakes ain't going to preach you out of nothing. He just going to walk past your screen. Joel Austin going to laugh at you through his whole telecast. These men beg you for money. They're mega pimps, pulpit hustlers who just get enough money to buy their own jets and buy their own mansions and buy their fleet of cars. And if you died and went to hell the same day, they don't care. That's, right. That's why it takes God to make a preacher and only God can put in a man to love this stubborn people. That's right. The human family is a stubborn people. Look how stubborn they were in the days of Noah. God gave Noah instructions to build an ark to save humanity. Humanity rebelled. And only eight people were saved by water. It is written as it was in Noah's day, so shall it be when the Son of Man come. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Why is it that many of us are not new? Because many of us are not really in Christ. You think you're in Christ because you go to some church and they got a cross on your building? 99.9 .9 of so-called churches are nothing but club that camouflage their activity by the hiding behind the name Jesus. They are organized crime. The preachers are nothing but pimps. That's why they have that $1,000 prayer line, $5,000 prayer line. Touch the neighbor next to you. When he counts to three, you jump up like you on Sesame Street. <laughs> are you getting what I'm telling you? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man be in Christ, what is he? He is a new preacher. If the preacher's a new preacher, he's a new creature, he shouldn't like a pimp. That's true. New creature. He don't, he don't need rings on every finger. He's supposed to be a new creature. Mm -hmm. He don't have his nails manicured. He's a new creature. He ain't wearing no bling bling watch. He's a new creature. He don't have his hair processed or dreadlocks or looking like James Brown. He's a new creature. The preacher is not dying his hair black. Amen. And he's 80 years old with his eyebrows silver. Amen. He's a new creature. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Therefore, if any man be Brother, in Christ, if you're a new creature, you ain't out there with shorts showing your naked body walking the street, bare-legged with your pants hanging down, showing your drawers like a neighborhood whore. That's right. And you's a man. That's right. You's a new creature. Sister, you're a new creature. You don't have something on your blouse is this big and your skirt is that big. You're supposed to be a new creature. Why would you have a split from your ankle all the way up to your thigh? That's right. And then you want to complain about a man looking at you. You should look at yourself for you came out the house. That's right. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. You know why your preacher ain't going to preach this? Because he wants to see your goods anyway. That's right. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. What is it? Old things are passed away. When old things are passed away, you ain't cussing. No. You ain't drinking. No. You ain't smoking. Right. You lottery playing Christians. <laughs> Praying over your lottery ticket. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, I know, uh, Pastor Jennings need a church. I know you need to work in mysterious ways now. Bless this ticket. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the devil out of hell. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If any man be in Christ. Now, many of us have a desire to be in Christ, Amen. but we don't know how. Right. It's like a lot of folk desire to know how to hold their hands, Amen. but they don't know how. Yeah. See, like a lot, like coming up in the hood, very seldom did you see girls fighting like this in the hood. Oh. Man, 
lot of women in the hood will hold their hands like men. They be like, come on. Come on. You understand? When I came up in the hood, you didn't see no guys out there fighting. Ah, ah, you, us boys didn't fight like that. We came up in the hood. We went at it. Now, if you didn't know how to hold your hands, the old heads will show you. If you don't know God, you need someone that walked with God a long time to show you. The only thing you are learning in churches now is prosperity plan. God got a miracle with your name on it. This is what's taught now. God don't want nobody to be poor. God wants everybody to have mansions and yachts. Right here is your heaven. All oh, this foolish sales pitch. How you going to tell me God don't want nobody to be poor when it is written the poor you have with you always? Everybody can handle wealth. How many rich men you find really serving God and submit to him and bow to him? That's right. Many of these preachers, some of them was doing good when their church was about the size of this stage, little storefront church. But when that church got big as this auditorium, notice how many things in the Bible they threw out the window. Don't stand for this no more. Don't preach that no more. Not firm in that no more. They compromise on this, bargain on that. Now Halloween parties in the church, Christmas trees in the church, Easter egg hunts in the church, same-sex marriages in the church, rainbow flags in the church. That's right. Why? It's a hate and a disdain for God That's right. that have went from pulpit to the door. Until even the so-called Christian will tell you, it don't take all that to be saved. Whatever God says to be right, it takes that to get right. right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? How in the world we get so wise and get so educated that we're going to tell God what it takes for us? Whatever God says, he said, we believe it. Amen. It doesn't matter. God ain't never said something for you to like it. God talks so you can obey it. What kind of God we think we serve? Someone that bargained with you? We are nothing but a speck of dust to him. And every one of us can be replaced. Death, they die, and they're born. One day, you're going to be ushered in some old church. Dead. Some with no God. That's right. Only thing you got is your looks, if that. <laughs> and some old liar going to get up and try to put you in heaven. Amen. And that's what the preachers do. Here's uh, Mr. Billy done died. Everybody know he was a smoker, a gambler, a drug dealer, a whoremonger. Loved to drink and party and act like a fool. And they roll him in the church. And old Reverend Lucifer <laughs> want to put this devil in heaven because he's afraid to speak the truth about him because he don't want to offend the family. And the whole family knows that's the devil laying up there. But Reverend Lucifer would say, uh, Mr. Brown wasn't the best man, <laughs> but he wasn't all bad either. Then he say, we all have our faults. He said, but I, I, I see Mr. Brown over there standing, waiting for his mother. I see Mr. Brown. And right away, you his old drunken girlfriend jump up. I praise Jesus. I'll sit down. See, if that was me, I'd tell you where Brown is going. To hell! That's right. Where you end up in eternity is based the way you live now. Right. Burn it in your brain. It's heaven or hell. That's it. That's it. People try to make this stuff what it is not. Like right here is heaven. All these churches are getting this idea. They make you think the more money you give the Lord, 
then that determines how great God will bless you. How wicked. Amen. You don't got to have a dime for God to bless you. Amen. If they pass the offering pan around, you put something in it, fine. You don't, don't feel bad. The greatest offering you can give is not green. The greatest offering you give is yourself. The Bible says present your bodies a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Holy. Holy and acceptable one to God, which is your reasonable service. Give chapter and verse for this. Romans chapter 12, we'll start at verse 1. Be not conformed. Start at verse 2. At verse 2. What is it? And be not conformed. Be not to conformed. This world. Conform to this world. But be ye transformed. You see, this is what churches need a transformation now. The first thing they got to change on a person is their mind. The reason why the churches are in the same condition because nobody mind change. That's why you have church jam sessions. How in the world is the church house and the devil house do the same thing? You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. You got the same dances, the same music in church that you got in clubs. Here you in the club on Friday and Saturday, somebody walking around rapping, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick, 61, 72, tell me how many lemon rocks can you do, how can you do, can you do? <laughs> and now you in church on Sunday, here we go, Jesus, here we go, it's a church. And you this ignorant to actually say, well, it's all right. Have you ever seen a cat bark? No. Have you ever seen a dog meow? No. The creatures that God made do exactly what God made them to do. Look at us. God said he made you for his glory. But yet besides giving God the glory, you give your glory to the devil. And the moment you get in trouble, now you want to beg God to get you out. Why don't you call on the one you serving? You serving the devil? You in trouble? Why don't you ask the devil to get you out? You all drunk now? You got cirrhosis of the liver? Why would we want to call Jesus? Why don't you call the devil? Hey, Satan. <laughs> you made me drink like this. Do something. That's right. I don't say, Pastor Jenny, why would you say that? Give me the book of Kings. Kings. Let me get some Bible where people actually called on the devil. That's right. Even the Lord says, why call ye me Lord and do not the things I say? That's right. Let's get the book of Kings and during the days of Elijah and then give me the book of Matthew chapter 7 and I believe again at verse 21. Everybody all right? Yeah. Follow me, Wisconsin. All right. First Kings chapter 18, we'll start at verse 22. All right. Then said Elijah unto the people. Glory take God, then said Elijah unto the people. I, even I, only remain a prophet even of the I, Lord. Even I only remain a prophet of the Lord. They seek my life. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. One thing about the devil's preachers is more of them than God preachers. It ain't never been a whole lot of God sent preachers. Think of this. Jesus had 12 apostles. And then told them go into all the world. Twelve men That's right. for the whole world. That's, right. That's why you have more false prophets on the planet Earth now. Yeah. All these religions up almost like open buffet. Amen. Uh -huh. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Uh -huh. And let them choose one bullock for themselves. Yeah. Cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put it no fire under. All right. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood. Now and put here's no the fire prophet under. Elijah going to challenge the prophets of the devil. Mm -hmm. He going to challenge them. Uh -huh. And call you on the name of your God. That's what I'm saying. That's right. Been that you're serving the devil so much, why you call Jesus when you get in trouble? That's right. That stubborn gangbanger get shot up seven times, wouldn't listen to his mother, wouldn't listen to his father. Mommy get in the hospital. Mama, remember that prayer you told me? <laughs> Can you say it for me? She's like, all right, baby, all right. Lord Jesus. And then God have mercy on the food. God healed the food. And then the food started feeling better. And before he even get out the hospital, he's back in bed cussing like nothing ever happened. That's right. 
Everybody in here this afternoon owes God your life. Everybody. It ain't a person in this building living on their own accord. You live, eat, sleep, walk, talk by God's permission. You young bloods that think you're tough, you ain't tough. When you can beat God, then I look up to you. Until then, your breath is just in your nostrils for a period of time. That's right. God has proven to you because some of your own friends are dead. Amen. Young, in a Christless grave, dead. And the only thing you can do is throw a few joints in the grave or pour some liquor on a casket like a fool. Murder don't phase the young people now. Death don't phase them now. To them, going to jail is fun. But when you stand before God, you're going to find your toughness never exists. Woman, switch the streets now and let your whole neighborhood spill seed in you if you like. But when you stand before God and God call your attention that he made your body for his glory, you will understand that you were not here for nothing else but for God's use. 